While hundreds rallied today to protest the transfer of a convicted child killer to an Indigenous healing lodge, Terry Lynn McClintock was recently moved there to continue serving her life sentence for her part in the murder of 8-year-old Tori Stafford in 2009. Well, today, people in Stafford's hometown of Woodstock, Ontario, turned out to show their outrage and to push for changes to the law that allow the transfer to happen. We get more from the CBC's Lorenda Redekop. A lot of people are upset about what has happened. And you can see probably behind me a lot of purple. That was Tory Stafford's favorite color and really has become a symbol for people here. Uh, a lot of people are wearing purple ribbons. And even the police officers who um, they've blocked off the street here in front of the courthouse, even they are wearing those purple ribbons. I remember I was here when Tory Stafford disappeared and there was still hope in this community. So many people they all came together all supporting her family hoping that she would be found but her remains were uh, discovered two people have been convicted in her murder one of them Terry Lynn McClintock uh, had been serving time in a prison but the news came out that she had been transferred to an indigenous healing center in a healing lodge in Saskatchewan so many people here are upset earlier they were chanting send her back. People feel that a mistake has been made by corrections officials. We know that the federal government has said it's reviewing this, looking into it, but it's not clear whether they could actually change anything in McClintock's case or if it would solely be for future cases. Michael. And I understand that Rodney Stafford, uh, Tory's father, was speaking to that crowd. Tell us about that part. That's right. He was here and spoke. He was also in Ottawa. There were a number of these same people who are here today who took their same message to Ottawa yesterday. Here's a little bit more from Rodney Stafford speaking here to this crowd earlier. Every day, it's sure I might walk up and down Dundas Street with a smile on my face, waving to everybody. Yeah, I'm doing great, guys. But, you know, in the background, it's killing me. On the inside, it's killing me. But each time I walk past one of you guys and you guys give me support, gives me that much more strength to stand here and do what I want to do. And that's stand up for my daughter. So a strong message from the father of Tory Stafford here earlier today. As I said, it's not clear what the federal government could do, but the public safety minister, Ralph Goodale, he has promised that he is looking through the review that they had ordered and he will be giving a response soon.